As most of you know, Levon suffered a wrist injury while performing a wrist curl earlier in 2023. I'm not sure whether that was the result of a mounting overuse injury or if it just happened out of nowhere. Either way, Levon has been slowly rehabbing throughout 2023 and has recently said he is back at 100%. However, after watching some of Levon's recent training and practicing, it appears as though he is still really babying his wrist. It looks like he might be in quite a bit of pain. Let's take a look. So we see Levon making some facial expressions in that video that makes it look like his wrist is not feeling great. It's also possible that it is feeling fine and it's just burning from training, but you would think that this wouldn't happen from this level of opponent. But maybe this is still a form of rehab, just a more table-specific form of rehab where Levon is doing light wrist curls with an opponent rather than a cupping handle. But the goal is still to get a lot of blood flow into the muscle. This could also account for the painful expressions. But there still seems to be a problem. All of these explanations indicate that Levon is nowhere near his peak form. When Levon says that he is 100%, I don't think he is talking about 100% strength levels. I think he is simply meaning that he is 100% and that he is 100% ready to start training for real again. In other words, he is healthy enough to where he can begin a legit training block as opposed to just doing more rehab. But this poses a potentially massive problem for Levon. I think probably the strongest Levon's wrist has ever been was against Devin Larratt at King of the Table. The reason I think this is that Levon managed to wrist curl 100 kilograms before this match. Even against Ermes, for example, Levon's wrist curl was lower than this before the match. If he hasn't trained his cupping heavy in several months, he is probably pretty far away from his most recent peak against Ermes. And as stated previously, I don't even think that was his highest peak. So if Levon wants to get back to that 100 kilogram wrist curl level he was when he faced Devin the last time, he's going to have to get all the way back to his Ermes form, surpass that, and then get even stronger. And he has to do all of this in about 4 months. And to me, that sounds like it may be out of reach. Additionally, Levon is not going to be competing against the same Devin this time around. Devin has continued to progress pretty much every month over this whole period when Levon has been injured and not competing. The elbow pads are bigger at East versus West than they are at King of the Table. This means that the King's move will be more effective than it was last time. So even if Levon is able to get his cupping back to the level it was before, that still may not be enough. Perhaps the Devin of today would have stopped the Levon of King of the Table. Who knows? Now why is this so important? Levon's bicep and side pressure are still monstrous, right? Can't he just win with that even if his cupping isn't at its peak level? This is entirely possible. I think Devin's win condition for this match is to crack Levon's wrist back. However, even if Levon's wrist goes back, he still may have enough arm power to just pin Devin anyway, Todd Hutchings style. Devin needs to take the wrist, whereas Levon simply wants to keep his wrist, but he may not need to. I think Levon still has decent chances of winning, even without wrist flexion. But let me know what you guys think about this. Do you think that Levon can get his wrist back to peak shape by April? Additionally, how big of a factor do you think Levon's wrist flexion will be in this match? Do you think he needs it to win, or could you still see him winning even if his wrist goes back a bit?